What's up everyone, Scott the Trout Hammer here. Welcome to a windy, windy morning out on Foster Lake, which as you can see is back down to, well back down to full pool after the flood we had recently. Water's still a little opaque, but I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. But we got Christian out here with us today. And with the amount of stockings they've recently done at Foster, I fear it's finally time to get in on it. We're gonna fish this spot with lures. If it doesn't work out here, which I, I'd, I'd say I have maybe like 55% optimism. I'm not fully optimistic lures are gonna work here, but we'll try lures at this spot for a while. If it doesn't work here, we'll move to another spot, go to power bait and or lures. More optimistic than I am. <laughs> That's generally the case. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, notify bell next to it, so you're gonna be the first to see all the great content that's gonna come from this channel. And when you subscribe to the channel, if your account setting is on public and I can read your name, I'll give you a shout out in the video I recorded over the weekend, which today is. Now again, 40 plus subscriber week, but everyone had your account settings on private, so I couldn't read anyone name, anyone's names. So you guys know who you are, you guys are rock stars, I thank you just the same. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There we go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. Well, seeing how heavy the wind is, I'm gonna start with a heavier Castmaster. Oh, yeah, your bobber would be gone in like a minute. Uh, but did it ever hit the water? <laughs> I never saw it or heard it. Well, yeah. I'm not so much worried about the debris. I'm more worried about the color of the water. I mean, trout have great vision, but there's only so much vibration you can get off a of Castmaster. I'm gonna let this thing sink for like 20 seconds before I start retrieving. I'm getting a good distance. I'm getting about 50 yards out of a cast. You know, let it sink for like a minute <laughs> and then start retrieving. Let it get down to the clearer water. Well, as you can obviously see, guys, we moved to a new spot because the one spot we spent maybe seven minutes there. So we're going to try some power bait here using a little bit heavier rig than I normally use, using a three quarter ounce weight and about three feet a liter. And the reason why I'm using that three quarter ounce weight is one for the distance I need to cast, but also for the depth I'm getting to. That three quarter ounce weight's gonna get there a lot faster. One single goose. Yep, we've been uh, lost. Ostracized. <laughs> Ostrich sized. Yep. Ooh, doinking. You're doinking, doinkage. Where, where, where did the doink go? Yeah. Where are we doinking? <laughs> I saw it, you were doinking. But they weren't very hard doinks, but at the same point in time, that's kind of like a medium action rod almost. It's definitely not light. Yeah, mine's a mine's pretty much a pool cue. It's gonna be fun detecting a bite on mine. But I might bring mine in. Oh, up the shelf. Point, point. Now on the shelf. Pretty much let the weight come up and I could feel like when it came to the shelf and then whoop. Okay, about a foot and a half in on the shelf. Oh, I got, I'm doing kind of way. Yep, it's on. I hate you. <laughs> it's probably the one that was going to be first. I'm telling you, right on that shelf, that's where I wanted to be. This feels like a decent fish, actually. I think I was close to the edge of that shelf. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a decent yeah, fish. Good old green back. He fought bigger than he was, but I'm just catching and releasing today, so back to go. Mm -hmm. You're doinking. That was an absolute doink. There you go. It's all right, I'll come to mine in about five minutes. <laughs> probably gonna, I'm probably gonna put- No, nope, Me or you? You. Oh, me, yeah. You son of a bitch. Yep, you got it. No, no, I don't feel anything. Yeah, well, you were definitely going for so it, unless it was something just coming by and hitting it under the surface. That might have been it, because I don't feel anything on it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I had a fish. <laughs> and it wasn't moving at all. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm catching and releasing anyway, so yeah. All right. Christian has some stuff he had to take care of at home, so we dropped him off on the way to on the way back from Foster. Foster just ended up dying for a while. We didn't have a single bite for about an hour and a half, but I'm not yet ready to call it a day, so stopped off here at Waverly. There's a there we go. <laughs> Came off. That's right there. Doing catch and release anyway. Yeah, little guy. He made it. He's fine. He's swimming out there. <laughs> same spot. Same lure, too. Don't know if that's the same fish, though. Yeah, probably is. No, no go in the bushes. <sighs> now look what you've done to yourself. There you go. That was on the pink and white rooster tail with the marabou and flashaboo tail. Oop. Yep. Got swung at right in front of me. See if it'll come back for it. Yep, got bit again. Come on. Must be a whole school of them right in front of me. They do not like this rooster tail. Nope, they do not. Holy cow. This one's gonna put up a fight. Yeehaw! He just wouldn't stop fighting. He made that hook set a lot worse for himself than it had to be. Yeah! Man, fish every cast with the spinner right now. That's a better trout. Kunk. You get out of here. I've had enough of your kind. <laughs> Yoink. Quick release. Man, this is what I miss about the spring. When fishing just gets easy, and easy is fun for fishing. Now, counting this time, this now makes two times I've come here and first lure I tie on is a lure that's just absolutely slaying them. Right there. And yeah, that's the only downside of treble hooks is sometimes when you catch the fish, you really catch the fish. But I mean, hey, why switch lures? Let's see if there's something going on over here. Right there. <laughs> oh man, that is super small. You're not big enough to be stalked. How did you get in here? You cute little tiny guy. You get back in there and get bigger. Man, they are active today. They are on the chase. All right. Here we go, right about there. Yep, oh, came off. It's all right, we'll come back for it. There it is, there it is. Came off again, that's fine. That's the fun part of catch and release. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Man, they are mad at the spinner. Yeah, maybe there's at least one more over here. Oh, again, I don't wanna swing that hard, I don't wanna hurt him, I'm just trying to catch and release. Haven't killed a fish yet, don't plan on it. Yep, I think they moved over to this side of the tree. <laughs> Correct I was, as Master Yoda would say. And that's about all for this video, guys. Just a fun, awesome spring weekend day out catch and release trout fishing. Doesn't get better than that. Still waiting for the other panfish activity to pick up. I mean, that rain, that week of rain we had really did a number on these ponds, a lot more than I thought it would. They were getting so close to getting to that point where they're gonna be fishable for bass, and then it just, it, it got set back to square one. I feel bad that Christian didn't get on any fish, though. I'm glad he got to join me out at Foster. Just sucked that it didn't, 
it wasn't as good at Foster as I thought it was going to be. I know, I know the high water level and the darker water was going to make fishing there a challenge, but I mean, glad I called the audible on the way home. I was like, no, nah, I'm not done. I'm going to stop by Waverly and yeah, had a great day. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. If you guys haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and notify bell next to it so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. And when you subscribe to the channel, if your account sent me as on public, which hasn't happened in a couple weeks now, I'll give you a shout out in the video I record over the weekend. Tons of subscribers for the last couple of weeks, just everyone's account settings on private. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.